Hi, welcome to Mom Prep. I'm Andrea Orbeck, celebrity fitness trainer and pregnancy fitness expert. One of the common questions I often get is can I still work out my abs while I'm pregnant? The answer is yes. Just because you're stretching out your abs doesn't mean you need to lose your core conditioning and strength. Having strong abs is gonna help you push during delivery. It also will prevent back pain and will help you maintain that great posture. With me today, I have Allison. She's in her second, later trimester, like 23rd week. Allison and I are gonna show you some of the safe and effective modifications you can do for your ab routine. It's safe to lay on your back until around your 20th week, but once you start to get a little fuller in the front, you wanna modify like Allison and I. The key is to make sure that you have stability and support underneath your spine. Secondly, you wanna make sure your elbows are propped up so that your heart line is above the abdominal line. It prevents the baby's weight from putting unnecessary pressure on your heart and organs. So here's the setup. With a nice open chest, shoulders down and back, contract the abdominals nice and slow while you do heel slides. Alternate a slow extension and slowly roll back in. This is the most basic movement that you can do for abdominals. So you wanna keep your tailbone tucked underneath, nice and slow controlled motion, and breathe through everyone. So the next modification, a little tougher yet still safe, is to do a leg extension. Allison's gonna show you how you extend one leg at a time, a little higher than the heel slides, nice slow control motion, and you'll see that her shoulders are open. So if you are new to your abdominals and you don't wanna get any harder than that, these are the two muscle groups to do. If you're wanting more of a challenge and you have strong ab conditioning like Allison, you can go a little bit hardier. Going up into tabletop position, slow and controlled form, alternating heel drops. Very good. You'll notice that she's not putting her heels down too fast, using her abdominals to do the work. Good. And then a little more advanced is to drop both heels on the ground, slow and controlled, contract your abs, and lift them up. Nicely done. Good. So you don't have to lose your obliques during pregnancy either. The key is to stay modified with your upper body and slowly controlled by rolling, use your obliques, and just like Allison, not too low, three or four inches of a rotation, and back to the center. Make sure that you talk to your healthcare provider to find out if abs are okay for you. If you have diastasis recti, or splitting of the abs, you're gonna wanna avoid abs altogether. Nice work, good, and drop those heels, perfect. So you'll see that it's easy and important to maintain your core stability during pregnancy. You just need to modify. But always make sure that you talk to your healthcare provider before starting any exercise program.